Okay, this is, uh, in this problem we're asked to calculate the third order Taylor polynomial of f at, of xy at the point zero, zero. And we're given that f of xy is the equation x e to the xy plus e to the y. And from a previous exercise, we have already, we've already calculated that the second mixed partial fractions are derivatives of f, and we have the second with respect to x is the quantity 2y plus xy squared times e to the xy. And the second partial derivative of f with respect to x and then with respect to y is x times the quantity 2 plus xy times e to the xy. And the second partial derivative of f with respect to y twice is x cubed e to the xy plus e to the y. Okay, and using that information, we determined that the second order Taylor polynomial of f at xy of xy at 0, 0 is 1 plus x plus y plus 1 half y squared. Okay, so now we want to calculate the third order Taylor polynomial. So if we were to calculate the third order off of our second, that means that we just have to add 1 over 3 factorial. Of the, third part, of the third total derivative of f at x minus 0, y minus 0 um, at the point 0, 0. So the only information that we don't know is the third total derivative, which we, is given by Okay, and so it's given by the following equation. We have 3 choose 0 times the third partial derivative of f with respect to x three times evaluated at 0, 0 times our x cubed, and then plus 3 choose 1 times the third. Uh, mixed partial fraction uh, derivative of f with respect to x twice and then y evaluated at 0, 0 multiplied by x squared y and then we have 3 choose 2 times the third partial derivative of f with respect to x and then y twice evaluated at 0, 0 times x y squared plus 3 choose 3 times the third partial total third partial derivative of f with respect to y three times, evaluated at zero times y cubed. Okay, so we need to find all of the mixed partial derivatives of f. So we'll go ahead and start computing those. So we have um, our second partial derivatives, which we can use to just take the partial derivatives of those in order to get our third partial derivatives. So we'll take the partial derivative of this equation with respect to x. So we get So 
So we get uh, the following equation. We can simplify this. So we get y squared times e to the xy times the quantity 3 plus xy. And we want to evaluate that at 0, 0. We're multiplying the whole equation by y squared, so it turns to 0. Okay, and then we're going to want to calculate the partial derivative of this equation with respect to y. So we get the following, and we can, again, simplify that a little bit. Um, looks like we have e to the xy times the quantity 2 plus 4xy plus x squared y squared, and we'll evaluate that at 0, 0. And all these terms are 0 except for our 2, and it's multiplied by 1. So that result is 2. And now we'll go ahead and calculate our mixed partial derivative of f with respect to x, and then y twice. So we'll go ahead and look at just this equation, and we'll part take the partial derivative with respect to x. So we get three x squared e to the x y plus x cubed y times e to the x y. All of these terms are multiplied by either an x or a y, or obviously both of these terms are multiplied by an x. So at the point 0, 0, our result is 0. So let's see if I can squeeze in um, our partial derivative of f with respect to y three times. So that's going to be partial derivative of that equation with respect to y. And that's x to the fourth, e to the xy, plus e to the y, evaluated at 0, 0, we get 1. Okay, so we can go ahead and use this information now to plug into our equation here. So, so we can go ahead and just... Okay, so we have that our partial derivative of f with respect to x three times is zero, and we have that our partial derivative of f with respect to x and then y two times is also zero. So we can go ahead and plug in, multiply by zero. And multiply by zero, so those two terms are zero. And then we can plug in our two here and our one there. Okay, so so we can omit the terms that are multiplied by zero and we know that three choose one is three 
and 3 choose 3 as 1. So we can go ahead and simplify this. So we find that our third total derivative of f of xy at the point 0, 0 is 6x squared times y plus um, y cubed. And now we can use that information to plug into our third order Taylor polynomial. So we find that Three factorial is six, so we're multiplying by one sixth times our total derivative. So we get our Taylor polynomial. We can simplify the last couple terms. And we get that our third order Taylor polynomial is 1 plus x plus y plus 1 half y squared plus x squared y plus 1 sixth y cubed. So that's our third degree Taylor polynomial of f of xy around the point zero zero.